Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm currently a professional dancer for Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. And I am so lucky enough to say that through this career, I've been able to explore some amazing places all over the world. I've been lucky enough to explore ports in the Caribbean, Mediterranean, Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, and Alaska. One of my favorite things about this job is that we do become locals of the places that we typically port at. Therefore, a perk as a crew member is that we're able to experience these ports in many different ways since we port there way more than once, like a typical guest on a cruise ship. As a crew member, I want to share some of that expertise with you guys who may be cruising or want to experience these places at some point in your life. So I've come up with a list of five of my most favorite ports and my favorite things that I did at each one of them. I hope this helps you if you ever want to cruise at a specific destination or have ever visited any of these locations or if you just love to travel and would love to experience any of these places. One of my favorite ports that we were able to experience in the Caribbean was Aruba. We were so lucky to port here every other week for about five months so I did feel like I knew this port a good bit. It was so easy to find a taxi right outside the port and it was usually five to seven dollars to get us to a beach either palm beach or eagle beach palm beach was technically a bit more populated there were more restaurants and bars and resorts around there but eagle beach was great as well it was way more quiet than palm beach but i love them both for different reasons every beach i went to in aruba was so amazing because the water is warm and refreshing the sand is so soft and nice so i just really really miss an aruba beach you could take me back there any day some really fun experiences that i was able to do on the beach was tubing and jet skiing. I did each a few times because you could really just walk up to one of the shacks that they have on the beach, pay them cash, and they took you straight out into the water. Another very fun excursion that I did in Aruba was when my family was on board, we rented a 4x4 Jeep and we went to a watering hole. I'm going to insert pictures right over here because it was so beautiful and stunning. I won't lie, we did all get car sick because the road is extremely bumpy, but once you get to the views, it is so worth it. We were able to stop at some really gorgeous places along the way. We walked into this cave that had a hole in the roof and therefore the way that the sun hit inside the cave was just gorgeous and we got some really pretty pictures there as well. We were told that depending on the weather, you're able to swim in the watering hole. The weather wasn't that great. It was extremely windy the day that we went, but I have been told that you can swim in there as well. Also, a Aruba was one of our late night ports, so just experiencing the sunset and eating at a restaurant at nighttime was so relaxing and refreshing. If you've ever lived on a ship, you know as a crew member, if you get any sort of nighttime off inland, it just feels so nice and you feel like a normal human for a second. So that's another reason why I loved Aruba. So whether you want a relaxing day at the beach or an adventurous jet ski ride or also explore some caves, you can always do that in Aruba. Another one of my favorite ports that I was so lucky to experience one time was Marseille, France. My ship ported here on our crossing and it was one of by far my favorite days of the entire contract. Something that's still on my bucket list is to experience the lavender fields that are nearby Marseille. I think you do need an excursion to go to these and of course we only had one day so I wanted to explore the city and wasn't able to leave and go to the fields but it's something I would highly recommend if you ever did explore Marseille. Now again because we were only here one day we tried to maximize it as much as we possibly could so we walked all around the city. I went to the Palace Longchamp. I got to explore little bookstores and shops around the city and also experience my first taste of French culture and French food. I had my very first crepe in France, which felt so surreal to me. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always been captivated by French culture, and anytime I've gotten the chance, I've tried to take lessons and try to learn a little bit of French. And if you've ever wanted to learn a new language, I'm sure you've heard many people say that immersion is the best way to practice learning a new language. And that brings me to today's sponsor of this video, which is LingoPie. LingoPie has been helping me learn my French, and I'm going to show you exactly how. LingoPie combines education education and entertainment. How it works is that once you make an account, you'll have access to a vast library of movies and shows in many languages. Think of it like a Netflix of language learning. You'll be able to watch the show in that language while also having double subtitles to better understand the dialogue of each scene. My favorite feature about LingoPie is that you can click a word that seems unfamiliar to you in the subtitles and it'll save it for later on. 
But not only is this a platform to just watch TV shows, but Lingopi also wants to help you immerse in the language through game quizzes, flashcards, and repetition. That's why I'm loving the feature where you can click the words that are unknown to you because it'll save it for later and you can study it with your flashcards and your quizzes later on. I've been learning to practice the French that I do know and also learn many more words through this platform. I highly recommend Lingopi if you guys want to learn French along with me or want to learn another language. If you click the link in my description, you'll get a seven day free trial and also a special discount. So check out that link in the description if you've ever been interested in learning the language and we can do this together. All right, moving on to my next European port is Naples, Italy. Oh, if you are not new to my channel, then I'm sure you're probably tired of me talking about Naples and taking the ferry over to Sorrento. My cruise ship would port in Naples, Italy once a week while we were in the Med. There's a little ferry port stand by the cruise ship port and I would buy my tickets ahead of time on Ferry Hopper. They were about 15 euros each way. And I would take the earliest ferry over to Sorrento, Italy. It was near the Amalfi Coast. It was absolutely stunning one of my favorite places I've ever been able to visit. I don't think you need me to tell you that Italy is gorgeous, but Sorrento literally looks like an Italian movie set. It doesn't even seem real once you're there. You could take the steps up or there was also an elevator that I'm pretty sure was only one or two euros that you could take up. And once you get to Sorrento, not only do you have the most beautiful lookout point of the coast of Italy, but also the restaurants, the shops, the stunning architecture of Italy. I will always highly recommend going to visit Sorrento if you ever can in your life. One of my favorite things I did was go to Bagnia Regina Giovanna. So we rented a taxi, it took us there. It's a mini hike down, it was probably 20 minutes and you just see the most beautiful watering hole. You could swim in there. We also went cliff jumping off of there and I did do this twice through my contract because I had to bring more friends along to this gorgeous place. One of the highlights of probably my entire life was eating at a rooftop restaurant by myself in Sorrento. I was eating like this lemon spaghetti, drinking a limoncello, and just one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, enough about Sorrento. You could also take a ferry from Naples to Capri and Positano. Because of the times of the ferries, I never went to Positano because I was not going to have really any time to spend there. So I did take a ferry to Capri once and although it was gorgeous and will never complain about going to Capri, I would have definitely done my research and done it differently because the time of year that we pour in the summer, it is extremely busy in Capri and I would have loved to have a pre-booked boat ride or maybe come at a different season where there wasn't so many people and it wasn't so crowded. Now speaking of Naples as a port in general, it is a gorgeous city so walking around exploring the shops and restaurants and trying your very own Naples pizza is an absolute must. There was also a mall that was walking distance from the cruise ship port and it was called Galleria Umberto and although it was absolutely stunning but it also had great shops and restaurants in there as well. There was a Zara and a Sephora so you could always find us going to the mall as well. Now completely switching it up to the other side of the world, I'm going to share another place that I was so lucky to visit one time on my current ship on Ovation which was Morea in Tahiti. If you've ever watched the movie Moana, that is exactly what Morea looks like. I was absolutely fangirling because Moana is one of my favorite Disney movies. While we were there, we looked it up and turns out the scenery of Moana was heavily inspired by Tahiti. So that is obviously why it felt like we were in an animated movie while we were there. Unfortunately, we did only have one day in Morea, which we soaked up as much as we possibly could, but it was also a tender pour. And as a crew member, we have to wait for a majority of the guests to get off the ship before we are able to get off the ship. So that didn't leave us with a whole lot of time to explore Morea, but we did have one thing that we set our eye on and I was able to check something off my bucket list, which was swimming with sharks. So we booked an excursion right there at the port. There were a bunch of stands that offered different meal and boat ride packages. So we chose one that had space for all of us. We took a boat ride out to the water and that's where they let us swim with the sharks and stingrays. It was such an incredible experience and I recorded all of it. So there is a video on my channel from us exploring Tahiti. I will link all these videos down below because I do have a video at, yep, 
every single one of these ports that I'm mentioning. The package of the excursion that we got also took us to another part of the island where we were able to order food. We also were able to just chill on the beach and we jumped off the dock into the water. It was just such a gorgeous day and I'm so lucky that I was able to do that. Honestly, Tahiti was one of those moments for me where all the hard work of living on a cruise ship and being away from family for so long feels like it's worth it when you're able to experience such bucket list destinations and experiences like the ones that we had in Tahiti. So the last and final port I'm going to share holds a special place in my heart for a completely different reason as all the exotic destinations that I mentioned before, but it is Juneau, Alaska. As you guys may know if you follow along to my channel, but we have been cruising Alaska for the past around five months and it has been really repetitive because we go to the exact same ports every single cruise but in the same way it's so refreshing and it feels so homey to go to the same ports and have our local spots every single cruise. Gino has become that for me because it feels so homey. I know exactly where I'm gonna get a good meal, where I can get good wi-fi, and it's just a comfortable and reliable port that I love to explore. There's a long strip of restaurants and a bunch of shops that you could definitely see if you were ever on a cruise ship porting because it's it is right there next to the port. My favorite spot to grab a bite to eat in Juneau is the food market. There's an area with some food trucks and plenty of seating and that's probably where you'll find all the crew members from the ship. There's yummy fish tacos, there's a crepe stand. My personal favorite is Pucker Wilson's which is an American food truck and they have the actual best cheeseburger you will ever have in your life. I've said it here and I'll say it again. Pucker Wilson's has the best burger in the world and I will get one every single week that we pour in Juneau. Like I said before, Alaska has been a very chill itinerary so we try to do things that we would probably normally do at home which is we go bowling, we go to the movie theater, and there's just plenty of chill things we could do in port in Juneau. There's also about a I would say 15 to 20 minute walk to a whale statue that looks really cool and if you post that on your story I'm sure plenty of people are going to think it's real because the first time I ever posted the whale statue so many of my friends from back home thought that I was seriously next to a whale coming out of the water. You could also take a bus to go see the glacier in Nugget Falls which I actually featured in my last video so I'm going to link that down below because I explained how we get to the glacier and all that but that was a gorgeous experience that Eve and I got to do while we were in Juneau. And as much as I would love to gatekeep this place because I love it so much, I'm going to tell you guys about Crystal Saloon, which is one of our absolute favorite places on the entire itinerary of Alaska. It's a saloon where downstairs there's a bar and there's entertainment there as well, but at 5 o'clock they open the upstairs and it's just a game room, so we're able to play pinball, pool, darts, or just hang out and chill. They're super, super kind there and always accommodating to crew members. We always say it's a spot that feels like our living room because we all just kind of end up there at the end of the day and hang out, chill chat and play games at the saloon. Now that was a whole lot of different destinations that I just gave you so let me know if you want to hear about even more because I am so lucky enough to travel for work and the fact that I've experienced these many places on a cruise ship actually blows my mind because this is my childhood dream come true. If you've ever been to any of these destinations or you want to make sure you leave me a comment down below because I'd love to hear about other people's experiences at these exact same ports. You guys already know what to do if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe click that bell so you're notified every time i make a post another huge thank you to lingo pie for sponsoring today's video and make sure you click that link down in the description make sure you follow me on instagram so you stay tuned on where i am in the world and wherever you are in the world i hope you're having the very best day i'll see you guys in the next video